Boy, those ladies really rumble. They really rumble. Not sure. All right, John. We have senior novice, one twenty five. Confused uh, with Tommy Thomas Hearns. It's Thomas Hughes. We got Junior the Hurricane right here. Junior, uh, let us uh, in on what's happening here. Uh, Mr. Hughes in the blue and uh, Kelvin in the red. Let us know how they're boxing. Well, what do you see here? A former, former light heavyweight open division champion. This is your weight class. These are your guys. What's going on here? Well, the guy in the red, uh, he's just doing nice left hook. And, um, the guy in the blue is um, trying to set up things by using his jab. You know, he's thinking a little bit more. Don't wait, Tommy, don't wait. As of now, it's a pretty close uh, technique. Set the pace, Tommy. There you go. Come okay. Johnny, these guys uh, look like they're in good shape. Uh, this go. open division, they have a lot of experience, don't they? Well, the... You never can tell. You have to look at it and see how well they're doing because sometimes uh, right hand up, you have fellas who are too old to be a novice but yet not a senior. Uh, I remember when I fought in the Golden Glove 55 years ago, if you were 21 years old, it didn't make any difference that you had any fights. You had to fight open versus 20 and below with five or less, you fought novice. Right. That has, that has changed now, and, and that's good, because uh, even if you're 21, 22, if you have no fights, you shouldn't be fighting open. Junior, it looks like uh, Hughes, Thomas Hughes in the blue, uh, is throwing some big shots here. What? There's a good uppercut by Hughes. He just throwing a really nice body shot. He's yeah, using he his jab to set up his combinations. Yeah, I mean, remember blue, that I mean, red has tendencies to uh, lunge in with left hook from time to time, but... Um, and you know, that's, it's, uh, when you to see somebody throw good body shots, you don't see that much. Those are straight to the stomach, not off to the side. Finish your right hand with a hook to the body, Tommy. Away from the rope, away from the rope. What should Kelvin, what should Kelvin be doing right now? Turn him, Tommy, there! I would say, well, actually, both of them, a little more head movement, you know? Blue. Did a little bit there. You know, his had a little bit, but um, red is kind of like um, more like um, just coming straight forward in. Blue's using his jab a little more, and technically he's um, was doing a little better. It looks like red's uh, making a little comeback. Yeah, what about uh, what about their jabs? Are they putting combinations together, or would you like to see more jabs, or what? I would say that uh, blue's um. He's uh, put him together a little bit better, and he's got a better jab. He's, he's got a nice overhand. With right. the right hand, although Zirkel is countering.
big crowd looking forward to this second round. Round two, Junior. Uh, who's who's, who's, who's go, got the edge here? Who's going to get the edge? Your, your guy in blue, uh, Q, seems to be landing some pretty heavy shots. Yeah, he throws a really nice, he set, uses the jab to set up a nice uppercut to the body at times. And I like the um, uppercut hook that he throws. Blue's head movement and it's straight right to the body. Hughes uh, reaches in there. Beautiful. Hughes is good to, that to the body. body. He punches hard to the body. Looks like a real strong guy. It's uh, be nice if he could direct something on the chin. Yeah, I mean, looks like, yeah, like I said before, it looks like Blue is trying to set up the shots. He uses jab a little more than Red does to set up punches, combinations. guys look pretty even. I don't see, uh, you know, any feints there. I think Hughes is a little bit stronger. Yeah, no doubt about it. You know, he's, uh, he's got that right hand he's throwing real hard. But uh, he should try to take this match over behind his jab. Well, but, I don't uh, know. Zirkel will let him. Zirkel led looking good, too. No, they're both good fighters. When it Definitely. gets close. It goes to Hughes. So it'll be up to Zirkel to uh, strategically bang on his opponent. Not get caught in the midsection, not get caught in a clinch. There's a nice left hand by Zirkel. He tries a left and a right there. Nice right hand by Red. But he's doing what he has to do to keep the strong Hughes off of him. Whether he can continue to do that will determine who wins this fight. Sometimes I feel like they don't count um, body shots as much as they need to because a lot of guys have a lot of good body shots and they don't get credit for it. Zirkel seems to have a lot of friends here. Yeah, they both look heavy handed. But I don't see, uh, you know, more than a two-punch combination. I think if they were uh, back off the heavy punches and put two or three together, move them up and down, uh, could do a little better. They're both real strong guys at 178 pounds. I agree, man. This is why I think this is one of the best fights of the tournament. This one in the super heavyweight, the Masters division. These guys are sitting down in their punches. They're not just scoring points. Real good matchup here. Definitely, I like what I see, man. Very exciting fight, I mean. To come to life, Johnny. Nice jab by Circle. Keeps Hughes off of him for a second. Circle tries to take advantage by reaching in on Hughes. Hughes tries to fight back. This might be the best fight of the night, Johnny. These guys are throwing some good stuff. They're on balance. There's a right hand and a left hand by Zirkel. Oh, Hughes tries to cover for that. This is the best open fight of the night, attack, man. One of these guys and the winner of this fight make it the best box award from what I've seen so far. Yeah, they look like There's pros. Nice right They're laying it out. Hughes. Definitely, without a doubt, man. 
very close one. It's going to be very tough to score. You guys are both hungry to turn. Now Zerko turns him around. He puts Hughes against the ropes, but Hughes just, Hughes just dances out of it. Zerko doesn't want to get caught in the corners or against the ropes. They're in their own little world out there, getting busy. We got some fans standing up, it's so exciting. A left right attempt by Hughes. I think there's so much adrenaline flowing. Nice right hand by Hughes. Drive circle back a bit. The circle recovers. Both throwing big shots. Red does seem to be coming back a little bit. I like his bounce. He needs to put something together. Getting close to the end of this round. There's a combination by Hughes. Tries to follow up on that. One punch, two punches, and then does step back. Zirko tries to counter. Hughes chases him into the corner. The two exchange punches. But uh, Hughes misses with the right hand, but it looks exciting. So you've got a crowd roaring here that may influence the judges, too. Blue is putting the punches together now. What do you say, Junior? Is, is Blue got the well, edge or is it right? comes back. It looks like Blue's getting the edge. I mean, when he puts more punches together, throws uh, more combinations. He looks a little more hungry and more determined. It looks like Red could be slowing down just a little bit. These guys are in pretty good shape to be throwing this volume in the third round. Definitely. Like I said before, this is the best fight of the night. Maybe, maybe even the tournament. I mean, these guys are really sitting down on their punches. Sometimes you rarely see this in the amateurs, not even at the higher level.